we spent some time in the beginning uh, learning the fundamentals, the pronunciation, uh, the basic grammar, how to use a dictionary, the, the basic tools right, uh, that would give us access to classical Chinese. And then we actually shifted into, into translation. So even as beginners, uh, we were actually given the, the opportunity and we were asked to start translating. Uh, not passages like, you know, um, uh, okay, where's the restroom, you know, that kind of thing. But we actually went into the Chinese classics, we actually went into Confucius, you know, Mencius, to the very, you can say the very roots of Chinese wisdom uh, and, and given short passages to translate. So going from beginner to translating <laughs> short passages from the, the heart of Chinese wisdom in less than a semester, uh, I think is, is testament to, to what they have been able to achieve. Um, one of the really unique things about uh, classical Chinese is that we're doing a, them a thematic, uh, we're using a thematic method to explore texts and translations. So it's in previous times where I've studied Chinese in the past, uh, the focus was really on the grammar, um, the vocabulary, and the structure, which we're certainly doing. But we're also doing it in a broader base, trying to understand, for example, we started with Confucian classics this semester. So what were the key Confucian values? And these characters are more than just a, a single word. They actually encompass a whole uh, range of thinking. And so by reading multiple texts, um, even though they're short passages, we're just beginners, you start to kind of get a sense of what these um, people were thinking about, what these ancient Chinese people were thinking about. And you can see that even a single character has so much more depth than it might seem at the surface. Um, so we've gone through those major Confucian uh, values, and next semester we're going to start looking at Taoism, which is really exciting.